Who are you? How did you enter her life? How did you enter her life? From birth. From birth. How many generations were you in her in this family? Six. Six generations. Why was the open door? How did you enter this this family? Uh, she has a star. When her mother was pregnant, it was too bright. It was too bright. How did you enter her family? Uh, uh, What's the cause? Six, six generations ago, how did you, why did you enter her family? Her mother was given to me. Her grandmother was given to you? Yes. Okay. And this is how you entered her life? And they gave her my name. They gave her your name? Yes. What have you done in her life? I destroyed her. How did you destroy? All her certificates. She's too intelligent. She's too bright. Too bright. Everywhere she goes, they tell her she's too bright. She has no job. She has no job. She has no job. She will not work. She prays a lot. I want to kill her. You want to kill her? She wants to serve God. She prays. Now the whole family is praying. Why? She was praying for everybody. Now why? Everybody is praying. Why? 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 Why don't you like prayer? Oh. Answer in Jesus' name. Why don't you like prayer? I can't do what I need to do. You can't do what you need to do. How does prayer limit you? I'm hot. You're hot. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. What's your plan? What do you plan for her life? How do you plan to destroy her life? Uh, with pain. With pain. With pain. What else? With pain. With pain. With pain. What have you done in her family? I destroyed her whole family. You destroyed her whole family. How did you destroy the family? Uh, I make them to be fruitless. Fruitless. All her siblings, they're all educated. They have master's degree. Even her, she has them. But they will not work. Nobody will work. Who's responsible for it? I am. You are? Yes. What have you done in her health? Uh, I make her to be sick all the time. You made her to be sick all the time? Yes, I stay in her head. That's why she has her nose is clogged because I'm in her head. You stay in her head? I stay there. I, I stay there. You unclean spirit? You evil spirit, your time has expired. And right now, you and all the demons will have to leave her and her generations right now. Her family in Jesus' mighty name. I command you, loose your grip. Out. Out in Jesus' name. Loose your grip. Loose your grip in Jesus' name. Loose your grip. Loose your grip. Out completely. Out of her life. Out of her family. Out of her siblings. In Jesus' mighty name. Because of Christ, be free in Jesus' mighty name. You are free. Ma'am, how are you doing? How are you feeling? Do you feel light? Were you the one to say that you destroyed your family and your life? No? Okay, the evil spirit behind that setback, the evil spirit behind that generational curse has been expelled out of your life. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We welcome you to the Anointing Water Prayer Line in the USA. Tell us your name and where you are from. My name is um, Deepa Bonga Matani. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. And can you please tell us what's the problem that brought you here to receive prayer with the Anointing Water? Um, stagnation, just uh, disappointment, failure at the verge of every breakthrough. And can you please tell us how was it affecting your everyday life? It's affecting me in every way. Um, I couldn't get a job, no matter how qualified I am, no matter how good my credentials were. And uh, I wouldn't just be rejected at the first interview. I would literally have to go through. And then at the end, they would tell me, oh, we like you, but we can't hire you. And uh, my health, I'm constantly sneezing. Anybody that knows me, I didn't bring a doctor's report, but Anybody that knows me from the day I was born till now, they know that I'm always carrying a tissue. I'm constantly sneezing. I'm constantly clogged all the time. And can you tell us what happened today uh, when you received prayer with the anointing water at the prayer line today? Um, I can't really say, but um, just before it was my turn, I was praying in my heart and I said, whatever thing that is in me, you will not hide, you will not run today, you must come out. That's what I was saying. And I said, well, you cannot go far 
I don't want you to go and wait for me outside. You would stay in here and leave me today. So when the evangelist, when he said, oh, open your mouth, and he sprayed uh, the morning water in my mouth, I felt like a churning in my stomach, kind of my stomach, my lower part, like some churning, something happened. And then I realized that I was, you know, talking. I couldn't control it. Like It's like I was hearing myself speak. Can you tell us, uh, was this you that was saying that uh, you pray too much, you entered through birth six generations, uh, that you have no job, I can't do what I need to do because of prayer, that you have pain, you destroyed the whole family? Can you tell us, was that you that was speaking those things? That was definitely not me because I want to work and I definitely love to pray and I don't want anything to hold me back. That was not me. That was the demon speaking. That was not me. Can you confirm to tell us, are those things actually happening in your life? Those things that the demon confessed through you? Yes. Yes. Because um, in my family, I was the first person that actually got saved. And I prayed and I sowed seed and I said, Lord, my family is going to be saved. My siblings, my mom. And now they are. So it is true. Can you tell us, how do you feel after the prayer? I felt light. I felt really light, like something, I don't know, something left. I felt light. And do you believe you have been set free and delivered? Oh, yes, I do. I do. I believe. I believe that. I'm excited. Amen. Now we encourage you to stay close to God and far from sin, that this miracle you received will be permanent in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.